Hey, Sam, don't you think we ought to move them up the draw and lay low for a while? No, we're going to move them on up to our place. But what if someone sees us? You let me worry about that. Where's Billy? <laughs> he chicken out. Don't make jokes with me, sport. No, I'm serious. He cut out back there. Go look for yourself. back here uh, my cinch come loose i just stopped to tighten it yeah well it looks all right now you gonna stay around here all day no i i was just fixing to mount up hey boy you ain't turning yellow on me are you no The card rights. No, Sam, don't! Let go of that. Let go! Keep after him! They got clean away, Hoss. Huh? Didn't even get a chance to get a look at them. Who you got there? Billy Penn. Hank Penn's boy? What's he doing here? I don't know. That's what I'm going to find out. You fellas get those cattle back up the north pasture where they belong. I'll take care of Billy. Stay put, Billy. You got a nasty bump there. Mr. Cartwright, I didn't know what they was going to do, honest. Who were they, Billy? I don't know, Hoss. You don't know, or you won't tell me? I can't. I just can't. Look, Billy, cattle rustling's a mighty serious business. Now, your pa's been a good friend of mine for as long as I can remember. 
You wouldn't want me taking you over there and telling him what I caught you doing, would you? I can't tell you, Hoss. That's all there is to it. Don't you understand? And if he don't quit running around with that bunch of wild yahoos, he's gonna get himself in more trouble. Well, it's better than being a pig farmer. You know what people call us? Hank and Billy Penn, the pig pens. I'd do just about anything to get away from that. Even to covering up for a bunch of rustlers? Well, they ain't pig farmers. Come on, son. Looks like you and me got to do a little talking with your paw. I can get up myself. All right. Have it your own way, boy. Come on. your Paul very happy, Billy. A lot he cares. He don't even know I'm alive. All he cares about is pigs. Howdy, Hank. Hoss. Missed you last night, boy. Where you been? Out with some friends. All night? Why not? I ain't a kid anymore, Pa. We got company. You go on inside. We'll talk about this later, as soon as Mr. Cartwright leaves. I got nothing to talk about. I have. I'll get. Sorry. Oh, it ain't your fault, Hank. That's just it, Hoss. I think it is. Billy and me, we just don't seem to hit it off no more. I can't talk to him. I can't even control him. He's gone wild as a year, and... I've been sort of hoping he'd grow out of it, you know? Oh, Hank, all boys got a few wild oats they got to sow. I did. Little Joe did. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder if little Joe's grown out of it yet. But you know, sometimes it takes more than just growing. Yeah. What do I do? Beat his head in for him? Did that do any good? I don't know. I wish I knew the answer to that, Hank, but I don't. What brings you over here this time of day, Hoss? Hank, on second thought, I think I'll let Billy tell you that. I'll see you, Hank. Well, say hello to your pa for me. There's a piece of pie over there. Mrs. Randall brought by, if you're hungry. What, does she think we need charity? No. She just figured maybe you were getting tired of my cooking. Where'd you meet up with Horse? Didn't he tell you? No, he said he figured you'd do that. You go over there to ask him for a job? No. What makes you think I'd do that? Well, maybe this farm here is getting a little cramped for your size. Uh, maybe you figure that horses and cows are more important to deal with than pigs. Well, ain't they? Son, 
Somebody's got to raise pigs. Well, they're clean, fine stock. And there's always a market for them. You're proud of it, aren't you? Well, why shouldn't I be? It's honest work. Don't you know what people call us? I've been called a lot of things in my lifetime. It don't matter what folks say. Well, it may not matter to you, but it does matter to me. Billy, you forgot your lunch. I ain't hungry no more. And you didn't tell his father about it? No, sir. Well, don't you think you should have? Well, Paul, I started to, but Dad Bernard seemed like old Hank had the weight of the world on his shoulders about that boy, and I, I just didn't want to add to it, that's all. Hoss, I know how difficult it is for Hank without a wife or mother to help guide the family, and I know what he's going through. Every father does when his children start growing up, but if Billy's getting into serious trouble, I think Hank ought to be told about it, don't you? I guess so. Well, what does that mean, I guess so? Well, Paul, I guess I'm looking at it from Billy's viewpoint. If you knew all the trouble that little Joe and me got into when we was growing up, why, you'd have wore yourself out thrashing us. And old Billy's right there at that same stage now, the same age, where everything his pa does is wrong and nobody understands him. And, well, he gets into a lot of trouble, but he don't mean to. You know what I mean? Yes, I think I know what you mean, but cattle rustling is a little more serious than some adolescent prank. Well, now, that's just it, Paul. I ain't for sure he was rustling. He was out there with him, all right. But when I first saw him, when I rode up that hill, he was up there fighting with one of them yahoos. Fighting? Yeah. This other kid had a rifle, and Billy was trying to keep him using it on me. I see. So I figured I owed him something, at least to let him tell his pa about it himself. Yeah. You think he did? I hope so, but I doubt it. you lately, but it don't seem like there's enough hours in the day. We're gonna win that blue ribbon at the fair. We got a lot of work to do. Hello, Hoss. Howdy, Billy. Ain't you gonna ask me why I'm here? Well, I... Uh... I figured you'd tell me when you got ready. What you doing? Getting old Macho here ready for the fair in Virginia City at the end of the month. Boy, he sure is a good-looking bull. Yeah. Yeah, he's sort of a special breed. He's a new strain around here. I sure would like to see him win himself a blue ribbon at that fair. Think he can? A lot of hard work. He's got a chance, yeah. Boy. I'd give anything to have a bull like that. Look the way he holds his head. Yeah. Yeah, he knows he's a champion, don't he? I reckon that's a hard thing, being a man. Hardest thing we have to learn in this life, Billy. Matter of fact, a lot of fellas never quite make it. How do you learn? Well, it's a different thing with different men, I reckon. When it happens to you, you know it, though. Mr. Cartwright, I come over here to tell you I'm sorry for what happened this afternoon. I reckon I acted pretty dumb. Yeah, I reckon you did it that, Billy. Apology accepted. I didn't know they was gonna rustle your cattle, honest. I believe you, Billy. Really? Sure. Ain't very often anybody believes what I say, including my pa. 
Billy, are you sure you're giving him a chance? He don't give me much of a chance, Mr. Cartwright. If he'd only... Only what? If he'd only let me do something on my own, like raise a few head of cattle. I've asked him. All he cares about is pigs. Billy, you, uh, you really want to be a cattle man? Oh, boy, do I. Mr. Cartwright, I, I'd do just about anything. Billy, I got myself a real problem. Maybe you can help me. What kind of problem? Well, like I was telling you, I'm trying to get old Macho ready for that fair, and well, what with all the work I got to do on the ranch, I just ain't got time. Maybe you can take him over for me, huh? I know that's pretty unfair of me to ask, I reckon. I mean, it takes a lot of work to get a bull ready for a fair. And a lot of trimming, grooming, and brushing, and combing. Yeah, a feller has to have a real feeling for cattle to get one ready for a fair. Right, who could help me? What, what's that old Kellerman kid's name? Alex, ain't it? Yeah, Alex Kellerman. Bet he'd help. He'd be a hand, too. An old kid had a calf in that last Virginia City Fair. And as I recall, he did pretty doggone well. But yeah, he'd be a good hand. Mr. Cartwright? If... If I did it, would we have to tell my pa? Billy, wouldn't you want to tell your pa? No, he wouldn't understand. Well, any way you want to work is fine with me. Then it's a deal. All right. He's yours. Keeping yourself. I missed having you around. I've been kind of busy, Sam. I'm on my way to the Ponderosa. I've been working. <laughs> so are we, ain't we, boys? <laughs> I uh, thought you'd like your share. I, I I don't deserve it, Sam. I didn't earn it. Well, you're a member of the gang, ain't you? The rules say we all share and share alike. Here, take it. Sam, I don't want it. What's the matter? You trying to weasel out on us? Hmm? You know the rules, don't you? Once you're in, <laughs> you're in for life. I'll give you this tonight, in town at the Silver Dollar. But, Sam, I can't make it. Billy, I said be there and wear your gun. Hi, Billy. Uh, hi, Shale. Uh, you see Mr. Cartwright? Hoss? Oh, uh, we left him down in uh, Sawhorse Pasture about a half hour ago. He'll be here about dark or a little after. Oh. Uh, can I help you? Oh, uh, I'll, I'll wait. Uh, well, I, uh, I could use some horn wax and some soap. <laughs> some horn wax? Yeah. What are you gonna do, kid? Try to wax up some of them pigs of yours? I can uh, get it for you, Billy. No, just I... wait a minute, wait a minute. He ain't told us what he wants it for yet. I'm fixing up a bull for the fair. A bull? Yeah. Well, that's a lot of bull right there. Everybody knows that the pig pens don't have nothing but pigs. Pigs and more pigs. Don't never use that word again. 
It so happens Mr. Cartwright gave me the job of fixing up Macho Segundo for the Virginia City Fair. Macho Segundo, huh? Yeah. All right, kid, let me hear one now that I can believe. I'll leave the kid alone, Burkhart. Well, he shouldn't be coming around here telling us all them big lies. I ain't lying. Uh, don't pay no attention to that flannel mouth, Billy. He's just trying to get your goat. He's trying to get his pig, you mean, don't you? <laughs> Hold everything there. Billy Burkhart's just joshing you. Can't you see that? Yeah. Hey, Billy, you got your... Hey, Billy! Man, that kid is plumb sensitive, ain't he? Well, you rode him pretty hard, and I don't know why you should. He seems like a nice enough kid to me. Well, how was I to know? Well, let's take care of the horses and get washed up. the herd move by noon. I don't even want to think about it. Boss? Yes, sir. Get one of the hands to put up the horses, huh? All right. Hope old Hop Singh's got plenty of food for supper. He's a hungry and danger. Now, what's the matter? I was just looking for Billy Penn's horse. He's supposed to be over here working on Macho. Well, maybe Billy's father's got to do some chores for him. You're monopolizing too much of that boy's time. Nice slave driver. Yeah. Howdy, man. What if I can get one of you fellas to put our horses up tonight? Hey. Burkhart. What happened to you? I guess I was talking when I should have been grinning, horse. He got the rawhide and old Hank Penn's boy, and the kid just about took off one of his ears for dinner. Yeah? Billy, uh, Billy's been here, huh? Yeah, about two hours ago. He came looking for you. Said he wanted to borrow some horn wax and soap. Said he was getting old Macho Segundo groomed up for the fair. I got the Josh and the kid about them pigs of his, and that kid come at me like a wild-eyed scratching bobcat. Kid's got a plum bad temper to be so young. Was he telling the truth, Hoss, about you letting him work on that high-priced bull of yours? Yeah, yeah, that's true, all right. Uh, look, fellas, if I was you, I wouldn't, I wouldn't josh him about them pigs. Uh, you're telling me? He lit out of here like a devil was after him. I bet that kid's still running. Wanting soap and wax, huh? Yeah. See you fellas morning. Where you been, boy? Out. That makes every night this week. Don't you think I ought to get some kind of explanation? Why? I ain't one of your pigs. Boy, you been drinking? Yeah. So what? I've been patient with you, but there'll come a time when I won't be. 
Let it come, old man. Let it come. You asking me to whip you? If you think you're man enough, come ahead. I was over to see you last night. You know what he wanted? Reckon I do. You been over at the Ponderosa? What if I have? You got no business over there. You're up to no good. You would think that, wouldn't you? What should I think? You've been out every night till all hours. Where are you going? For a ride, do you mind? I got work for you to do around here. You stay home. I had something important to do. Billy, I'm sorry about what happened last night with the hands. They, they didn't mean no harm. They shouldn't have called me those names. Billy, one of the first lessons you got to learn growing up is to take a ribbon from older men. They didn't mean no harm. It's just their way of having a little fun, that's all. Well, I don't like to be made fun of. Look, son. You gotta learn to laugh at yourself. If you can't, you might as well give up right now. But Hoss. Now, there, there's a fine example. You just call me Hoss. How long do you think it took me to get used to being called that? Oh, Billy, life gets mighty tough at times, and if you don't learn to laugh at it, you'll never lick it. Now, we got a lot of work doing, old Macho. We don't get started. Sure, Hoss. Mr. Cartwright. No, no. It's Hoss. Now, come on, let's get old Macho back in the stall. Come on, Macho. I thought that uh, if you want to sleep that badly, you might try your bed instead of my chair. I guess you're right. Oh, I'm 
so glad we got those herds moved. I've been, I've been counting cows in my sleep. Oh, this was awesome. Oh, he was he was out in the barn with Billy Penn last time I saw him working with Macho. You want me to get him? No, I'll I'll, uh, I'll talk to him later. This I'm going to Carson City tomorrow morning. I want you and Hans to make sure that our entry is registered properly at the fair. Hey, you know, Billy's doing a fine job with that bull. You ought to see him. Yeah, yeah, I have seen him. I'm afraid that isn't all that Billy's been up to. Oh, what's that supposed to mean? Well, Sheriff Coffey was over this morning. He thinks that Billy's running around with. Sam Carterfield and that gang. Well, is he sure about it? No, he's not sure, but he's, you know, he's trying to find out. He thinks he might round that gang up next week sometime. I sure hope that Billy isn't among them. Up you go. Right. Sure looks fine, Billy. Sleek as a teardrop. Think he's got a chance, Hoss? A chance? He's doggone right he's got a chance. Why, he will knock those judges right out of the seat. Yes, sir. He sure looks fine. You've done a mighty good job with him, Billy. Well, tomorrow's a big day, huh? Yep. I got our cart and everything all ready to go. Well, I mean, we'll cart him in. We don't want him walking. I don't want him losing none of that pretty fat. Well, I reckon there's nothing more we can do tonight. Guess I best be getting on home. Night, Billy. You know, I ain't never had anybody I could really look up to before. Guy needs somebody, you know? Good. Really? Watch your paw. Wanted to, Hoss. I really did. What was the time when I wanted to be just like him? Then I grew up and saw what he was. Night, Hoss. Billy. You will never know what a fine man your paw is. Then why don't he act like it? What are you doing in that barn? Pa? Hank! Hank! Oh, Billy. You wouldn't let me explain, would you? You wouldn't give me a chance. Hank, I can explain all this. Maybe I should have before now. Come here, I want to show you something. Ain't he something? And... Billy did it all by himself, Hank. Why didn't he tell me? I don't know. I reckon he wanted to surprise you. He wants you to be proud of him, Hank. Son. See what I mean, Hoss? Cousin. Fun, cousin. Fun. Now, 
I think I see where some of that fun is gonna start. Come on. Hello, Mr. Pigman. Hold up there, Pigman. What do you want? Just want to pass the time, indulge in a little friendly chit chat with a real Pigman. Let me buy. I declare, you're just not friendly at all today, are you? Where's Pig Boy? You've been seeing my boy lately. That's right, Mr. Pigman. Billy running around with trash. You know all the answers today, don't you, Pigman? And I got some advice. Keep away from Billy. Mm -mm, move aside, boys. He's a tough old pig. Get them pies, Joe. Hi, Miss Millie. Hey, you look at the pie sauce. I got something better to look at. Uh, Miss Millie, won't you give me a big old piece of that big old juicy looking apple pie there? Huh? You going to the dance tonight? I might be. Well, what's that mean? You got another date? Oh, no, silly. I have work to do. At the dance? I'll be in the kissing booth. Oh, it's for charity, you know. Well, I mean, it, nothing wrong in doing it for charity, is there? Um, no, I think it's great. Uh, would you like a piece of pie, Joe? I think I'll save my money for later. Sure is good, Joe. I'll bet it is. That burnt. I gotta get over to Barn and get Macho. We're keeping him over there, though, the judging. See y'all that while. Bye, Miss Millie. Cousin. A little after one o'clock. You reckon we ought to get a bite to eat? Ah, oh, you and your stomach. Later. Anyway, you won't starve. I want to look up an old friend first. Who, oink oink? The pig boy? That's right. Billy Penn. <laughs> Come on. Big fella. You gonna win that ribbon for Billy? You're some animal. Now, easy now. Been a long time since I've been around bulls. Fine, don't he? he looks like a million dollars, horse. I'm mighty proud of Billy. Why don't you tell him so, Hank? I tried to this morning, horse. My tongue got tied up in my mouth like a bundle of rope. My people was never ones for speaking their minds. What can I do, horse? What can I do to let him know how I feel? That burning Hank just bust out with it, that's all. Just can't teach an old dog new tricks. Doggone if it ain't Billy Pence. Hi, Sam. Good to see you. 
Good to see you too, Billy. Where's your black bandana? I left it home. He left it home. What's this, Billy? You joined up with us, didn't you? Sam, I've been thinking. Look, you let old Sam do the thinking. Now, if we let you out, that puts us all in a tight spot, see? What do you mean? Well, you know too much, boy, about us. I wouldn't tell anybody. Well, now, how can we take that chance? How do we know? Sam Carterfield, I told you to keep away from my boy. Now, get. Do you detect a strong odor of, uh, pig? I sure do, cousin. Phew! I smell pig. Who are you gonna whip now, pig man? You hear me, pig man? You're nothing but a dirty, stinking pig pen. Pa, don't let him say that. Stinking pig man, run! Sam! Sam! Billy, 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 Billy! Calm down, settle down. Leave me alone. Settle down, Billy. Pig boy, you remember what I told you, and you remember good. Sam, let me tell you something about the healthiest move you can make, all of you. That is, unless you want to get those pretty faces bashed up. Just get out of here. I mean, right now. Yep. Come on, boys. Let's get out of this stinking place. It's almost 2 o'clock, Bill. We better go get Macho out of the barn. Well, just leave me alone with you. Billy. Turn around here, boy. Look up at me. Look up at me! You've been sulking and puning around here just about long enough. You don't want to be a man, do you? You think you'll get more attention walking around dragging that bottom lip around between your feet, huh? I got a suggestion for you, Billy. If you're gonna grow up, you grow up right now. Or go off and join that garbage heap with that Sam Cotterfield and that bunch. You saw what happened. They humiliated him. And he just took it. He's a coward. Hank Penn, a coward. Not hardly, boy. Not hardly. Let me tell you something. Your pa's one of the bravest men I ever knew in my life. He's had battles you don't even know about, boy. And he won them. Won them all. No. Your pa, he ain't got nothing to prove to nobody. He knows what he is. He's a man. You're wrong, Hoss. He does have to prove something to me. Hey, boys. Looks like the pig man wants to be a cow man now. You got no business in here. I got lots of business in this barn, pig man. You ain't gonna like none of it. You do anything to upset this bull, and I'll break your head like I should have done before. Well, now, who said anything about hurting the bull? But uh, it is an idea. I'm warning you. Hey, you guys. I think the old pig man's in love with this bull. Ain't that awful? Why, that's bound to make them pigs of his powerful jealous. You keep your hands off that bull. Cousin, you ever see a... A one-eared bull? Can't say as I have, cousin. He be sad. You hold him. 
Vomi Sport. You're about to see a one-eared pig farmer. Still love me? The sheriff wants to talk to you. Let's go. Be ashamed of yourself. Big as you are out there playing on mud pies. Oh, little Joe Cartwright, I. Oh, well, I hate you. Well, just look at you. Huh? Hey, Millie, where? Hey, huh? Looks like I got a man for a son. Thanks, Bill. Thank you, Pa. Looks like I've had a man for a pa all along. Just wasn't smart enough to know it. Hey, you two. We got a blue ribbon winner. Do you forget? Oh, we haven't forgot about it. Have we, son? No. No, sir. How could we forget about something as important as that? Come on, Macho. Come on, Macho. 